Hi friends, in this video we will discuss about network components. First of all, uh, coming to the categories of network components, uh, we have devices, media and services. We will discuss uh, each categories here. Uh, first of all, coming to the first category that is a device. So this device is of two types, entity devices and intermediary devices. First of all, we will see entity devices. A source or destination device in a networked system is called entity devices. The network devices that people are most familiar with are called entity devices. So these devices form the interface between the human network and the underlying communication network. Here we can see some examples of entity devices such as desktop computers, laptops, servers, TVs, smartphones, printers, IP phones, tablet PCs, etc. Coming to our Cisco Packet Tracer, here we can see all the devices uh, such as network devices and here we can see entity devices. So when we click on these entity devices, here we can see different entity devices. Also here we can see uh, home uh, devices, smart city devices, industrial devices, also power grid devices. So coming to entity devices, so here we can see different uh, entity devices available. We have a PC, laptop, server, here we can see something called Meraki server, then uh, printers, IP phones, voice over IP device, then here we can see a phone, then we can see TV, lot of devices, wireless tablet, smart devices, smartphone. Also, we can see other devices. Also, we can see other entity devices, uh, home devices, smart city devices. So, here we can see uh, the different uh, home devices. These are all entity devices. And here we can see smart city devices, ceiling fan, all the car, power meter. So, all these devices we will use uh, during our IoT, Internet of Things. And here we can see industrial mini devices and here we can see power grid, wind detector, wind turbine etc. Okay coming back here we will see the functions of these entity devices. So uh, these entity devices originate the data that flows through the network. Also they are the interface between humans and the communication network. That's all about entity devices. Now we will move to intermediary network devices. Intermediary devices interconnect entity devices. These devices provide connectivity and work behind the scenes to ensure that data flows across the network. And intermediary devices connect the individual hosts to the network and can connect multiple individual networks to form an internetwork. Here we can see different intermediary network devices such as routers, switches, multi-layer switches, bridges, wireless router, access points, firewalls, hubs, etc. Coming to our Cisco Packet Tracer, uh, here we can see network devices and here is our routers. Here we can see different routers available and here we can see switches different models and here we can see multi-layer switch also here we can see the bridge here we can see the hubs here is a repeater and coming to wireless devices here we can see meraki also here we can see home ruler here we can see access points And here is our uh, wireless, uh, this is security devices such as uh, firewalls. So these are all intermediary devices. Coming back, we will see the functions of these intermediary devices. Uh, so it uh, regenerates and uh, retransmit data signals, maintain information about what pathways exist through the network and internetwork. Notify other devices of errors and communication failures. Direct data along alternate pathways when there is a link failure. Classify and direct messages according to priorities. 
permit or deny the flow of data based on security settings. Now we will go to the next category that is network media. Communication across a network is carried on a medium. The medium provides the channel over which the message travels from source to destination. Here we can see three types of media such as copper, fiber optics and wireless. These different types of network media have different features and benefits. Not all network media have the same characteristics nor are they all appropriate for the same purpose. Then how we will select this media? We will see the criteria for choosing media. What is the maximum distance that the media can successfully carry a signal? Into what type of environment will the media be installed? What is the amount of data and the speed at which it must be transmitted? What is the cost of the media and installation? These are the criteria we check before choosing a media. So dear friends, in this video we discussed about network components. We have many number of practical videos in future. So stay tuned and consider subscribing. And we will meet again with the next video. Thank you.